And hello guys, this is Fadimin Frolic and welcome back to another episode of Triple S Build. This episode we are gonna build an acorn house. So let's shrink ourselves down into a fairy size and build ourselves this acorn house. Let me just show you guys quickly around so <laughs> other than this acorn house we are also gonna build this giant four leaf clover which on top of it um it has plenty of stuff so let's run through it quickly from the bottom let's go bottom up so let's go into the house for the time being it's a very simple icon bit of wood so you open the door close the door slam the door shut and we have our very comfortable and cozy place we have our bed on top of here and not much to see it's, it is a very simple survival house with a lot of chests that you can put your stuff in flowers crafting table furnaces and if you want to add something else like a enchanting table go ahead and do it it's nothing much about this and the next thing we're gonna explore is this four leaf clover as you guys should know that four leaf clover actually stands for good luck so with this underneath you your minecraft gameplay will be filled with a lot of good luck <laughs> so expect to find a lot of diamonds when you mine a lot of um, minerals or anything that you like so let's open this trap door as you guys just saw um, early on we have a roof on top of the olive clover so I make good use of it I have a little farm over here so this farm is um, actually filled with animals all types of animals we have chickens we have piglets we have um, kid sheep <laughs> cows and the calves I have no choice but to fence the side up because this seems to be escaping really well especially the chickens so yep I fence them up and <laughs> make sure they don't escape alright the next area we are going to take a look at over here is the farm of course this farm is rather small because I built it small I don't want it to be too large scale but if you guys want to expand it to make it big you guys can actually do it I've added all these um, leaves to fill up the gaps so you don't look so empty so this apparently the pumpkin is not growing but it's alright it will grow sooner or later and we have our dance area over here I still haven't put my disc in it yet but it's alright I still can dance with my friends <laughs> in the middle of the night this is the disco ball just imagine it <laughs> alright so let's move on to the next area this is a little garden where the water will flow downwards into the little pond area the little river yep this is where I can sit down and chit chat with all my friends when we have the time of course when we are not mining so let's take a right downwards with this water whoa <laughs> yep so we are down here we are back at the beginning so basically this video will be broken down into two parts yep just simply two parts so the first part we're gonna build this massive massive four leaf clover and then the next thing we add on to this little um what we call this again acorn yes this acorn tree acorn tree <laughs> this acorn seed so this acorn seed will be our house we'll place it underneath the four leaf clover and we will have our house so without further ado, I will see you guys at the build side. Basically now we have to do is place down 3x3 three three blocks. This will end up having a square cube like this. So with this cube, we're gonna do 5 stack upwards. So you can let it slant to the right or to the left, anywhere you like it. So for this um, build, we will be slanting to the right. So it is quite simple for this part. It is just stacking up wool. So we're going to build 5 units of um, a cube, a 3x3 three three cube. So one unit, two unit, we need another three. So for this part, I will be fast forwarding. If you guys don't understand, you guys can leave a comment below. However, this is quite a simple part. I believe everybody will be able to do it. So I will see you guys in a while while I fast forward this video. And after you have stacked up the 5 cube, you will have something like a stock shape that is leaning towards the right so from here on you will stack um, four blocks like this you put four blocks like this and then you extend each side by four one two three four so one two three four 
so this will be the gap um, just remember where you place them all right here one two three four so from here one two three four okay one two three four yep so from here onwards is quite simple so extend the side 10 downwards here and 10 towards there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right we have this we need the next one which is remember this is the main stock let's break this um so we have some contrast all right let's put grass block here for the time being so you have to remember this is the center part and from here onwards one two so we have two blocks here eight more blocks three four five six seven eight nine ten so do similarly for this side as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oops ten <laughs> all right so from this side we have already have two blocks oh, we only have one block so we have to add nine more blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten from here we need ten blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so from here we will need 10 blocks so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same goes to here so we need 10 so from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm sorry if i go too fast um if you guys find that i go too fast you can actually rewind the video and pardon me for going too fast okay uh one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right i believe we have um two sides each popping out so the next one will be a bit tricky however i believe everybody will be able to do this all right guys so you will end up with something like this it will be a cross shape or a t shape if you would like to call it so this shape onwards it will be rather simple so let me just recap again so remember this is the center part which is the four blocks and then we extend one two three four one two three four correct and then for this side from here onwards let's see we'll add up 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 correct so we have 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 and 4 in the center and we have this center part so the next part will be easier so we have all we have to do is to count so place one block here and then we're going to put the first block here we're going to do a band so one two three four five six we place down six blocks here and for this part we do the same as well we place one inside so we bend it so first block down second three four five six and with this done you can see there's a big gap over here just add one and then we bend again so one two add one we bend again uh which side this side one two as you can see it looks something like a heart shape but it's not really a heart shape it's more like a diamond shape yep it's a diamond shape it looks like a diamond right now so if you get this correct you will have your leaf platform so all you have to do is fill up this gap but um before that let's repeat one more time so basically it is the same thing here so one one two three four five six so let's count again one two three four five six so place one block down brand it okay then we place one block here and then we go to the other side so first block second block three four five six six block put it down one two one two nope it is not outwards it is inwards like this okay 
So remember, it looks like a diamond shape. If you get a diamond shape, it will be correct. So you do the same for the four parts. And you have this clover um, effect. <laughs> it looks nice, the shadow. However, we don't want the shadow, so we will fill it in. So I'll see you guys in a while after I fill it in. Alright guys, after you fill it in, you have something like this. It is beautiful, I know. Um, <laughs> however, we are not done yet. Uh, we have to put one more layer on it. So after the layer is add-on, we will be able to start um, outlining it. So for this part, uh, I will be fast forwarding it after I've done the layer, the second layer, which um, it will looks like this, two layer and how come the chicken is here? <laughs> they are master at escaping, master escapist. Anyway, um, <laughs> after the second layer, you will put a, a border uh, outlining for it. So you won't like walk off the cliff <laughs> when you're living here. Alright, so the next thing, um, yep, we'll add on to that and I'll see you guys in a while. Alright guys, after you outline the area and have double layer, you will have something like this. It is very nice looking. You have your um, roof already. So for the next thing we're gonna do is to add on uh, anything that you like. Um, for this part, for the previous build, I have built a waterfall effect. You guys can actually don't need the water effect, but if you guys want it to look like um, it is, um, <laughs> that's a waterfall effect. Go ahead and do it. It's very beautiful to have waterfall effect in uh, homes. So, all right. So for the designing of the pets, the the leaves, um, I'll leave it to you guys. You can actually follow my style, or you can actually do it any way that you like it. So just go ahead and do it. So the next thing we're gonna do is dig into this stem. Uh, we need a, a ladder go upwards. So let's dig two, and then we dig upwards. It is quite simple. Just dig until you see no sunlight. If you see sunlight, just place down the wool, and then we dig upwards. All right, we need to dig. Um, are, we, are we at the wrong direction? No, we are not. So we dig upwards here. Break this. Place two. And we continue this process um, upwards, all right, inwards, place two. Oh, it's awfully dark here. So, when you reach here, it's supposed to um, break through the grass very soon. Yep, we're out. <laughs> we might not be in the center, but it's all right, don't worry about it. It's not much of a big deal. And from here onwards, uh, we will go outside here. You try to fix it and make it look um, better looking. As you can see, it changes a bit. There's a lot of um, two blocks because we break it. And we fill it up to prevent the sunlight from coming in. So we add two blocks each to make it even. So it will look so awkward from the outside. There, there we have it. The stock and the, the clover is done, I mean. <laughs> So we have the clover and the stock. So for this part, we can actually put a trap door. Remember to always put the trap door away from your ladder. So let's say if your ladder is over here, let me just demonstrate one time. And we need trap doors. So like this. Um, mm, all right. Okay, so for this part, we will break it. So whenever you come up to a ladder, you can actually stand on it. So when you're standing on it, you turn around, place the trap door here, and then you open it. So every time you come out, you won't get stuck. You can actually stand on the ladder and you jump out and you close the trap door. Yep, so basically this is it for the clover and you have done a very good job if you have finished this clover. So the next thing we're gonna build is the acorn. The acorn house. The acorn house is very very simple. If you can build this clover, this acorn will be no problem to you. So for the acorn, um, we'll be building towards the side the clover is leaning towards too. So I will see you guys in a while. Alright guys, let's jump into the acorn house right now. But before that, let's add some grass around this clover. So it looks like it is not um, sprouting out of nothing. <laughs> so there's a little hue over here for it to look more natural. I know the giant clover is already not natural, but <laughs> hey, let's make it as beautiful as possible. Let's beautify it. Uh, maybe a few pieces here. Yep. Like 
this so the next thing let's go on to the icon house so let's take this side all right we'll build it here so count roughly around eight to ten blocks so for here one two three four five six seven eight all right around the nine ten okay let's do it here so for the base we're gonna use um the same color as that one the birch so for the icon we're gonna use birch wood and also um spruce wood so yep the base we're gonna do three by three like this yep and then we're gonna extend it out so one one so just do this and you will have your house very soon yep so after this base we extend another one outwards Oh yeah, so um, to me, remind you guys that <laughs> this clover is actually built of wool. It is very vulnerable to fire, so never ever let any fire touches it. If there's a fire, it's gonna go ablaze. <laughs> and you might have nothing else left after the fire. Alright, so for the sides, let's break this and do this. So the next thing you have to do is place it upwards by 3 blocks. So after you have finished this part, which is one, two, three, four, so four blocks high, you're gonna add on the chopping, the chop mm -hmm. of the acorn. So do this, extend it out a bit um, by one block. It will look something like this, and then the rest of it you will fill up the gap like this. Just two more layers. This is the first layer. And then the second layer. Just do this. Yep. And from here, we can actually put... Um, does it look like an acorn now? Yep, it looks like an acorn. So we put this one upwards. Slant it a bit, break this one. Um, maybe we don't need this. This looks ugly. Let's break this one. There! We have our acorn. <laughs> looks amazing, right? It's a bit towards the right a bit, but it's alright. We can always extend this area. Alright, so for this part, we're gonna break two. This will be mm -hmm. the door in. Let's place this down so you won't look so dark in it. After that, we're gonna stick with our birch um, stairs. Where is it? Mm, there, our birch stairs. Alright, like this. It looks amazing right now. It looks natural. So basically, this is it. We just add the door. Inside here. And place it like this it's actually on this block and for the interior let's light this place up a bit more you can always add um, remember to give two space you can walk underneath it add a platform like this if it's a bit too small you yeah, can actually do this yep and then we need ladders like this and you can put your bed on top of here so for the interior you guys can design it yourself remember to design it to your style how you like it to be and also and you can also break one over here one block and put a fence gate you will add x windows and for this part we also break it and make add a fence gate or if you do want fence gate you can have a fence there you can have some light in some fresh air and this acorn house so basically this is it we have finished building the acorn house and it's amazing for leaf clover so let's go back to our build my pre-build just take a quick look again all right let's come back to this uh, pre-build this lovely pre-build 
so I've added some vines on this acorn and for the interior you can actually design it um, I believe I showed you it before but let's take a look, quick look again just some basic survival needs and a lot of chests for me to put the stuffs that I want to so the door um, nothing much nothing much to say about this so for this clover four leaf clover you can actually make some waterfall effect this is how I actually have done it I break this um, wool over here and then after that I added some wool around it put some water in and there we have some waterfall effect so as the waterfall down I cut some holes on the floor and then make it into a river like so yep remember to light up your clover the four leaf clover and your acorn house if not monster will be spawning um, quite frequently because we are under the shade of this massive four leaf clover so i wish to thank you guys again for watching um triple s build if you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> that you could so if you guys enjoyed this video please um leave a like subscribe favorite and share with your friends and i'll follow if you guys more triple s build in the future bye